it's finally here. It was supposed to come May 9th, and then May 10th, and May 11th, and then it's just been in transit for forever. But it finally came, the Monster High Haunt Couture Draculaura, and this is my first ever Monster High doll, ever. Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown up gift givers and adult toy collectors. And I am excited and also nervous, super nervous to open up my Haunt Couture Draculaura doll. Nervous because I know other people on Instagram seemed like they had mistakes in it, but also excited because it's my first, my first Monster High doll. I've never had one before. Um, I've seen them in stores like right before they did their 2014 reboot. Um, I think it was right before because the ones I remember were Cirque de Freak and I thought, man, that's so cool. I'm like, oh, I can't get them though. Because that's back when I was silly and young and thought that toys were not for everyone. But toys are for everyone. Toys are for anyone. It's okay to like what you like. Okay, so we're gonna open it. Wow, wow, oh my gosh, wow, wow. <sighs> look, look. This is like a coffin shaped box. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. So this is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just super excited. Um, this is so amazing. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay, I'm all right. Oh, this is so amazing. It's this coffin shaped box and it says Haunt Couture on the front and it has, um, the bat, which I know is Draculaura's bat, but again, I don't know much about Monster High. I just, I just love the look of Draculaura. I really like vampires, so. But they have to be somewhat nice vampires. They can't all be mean vampires, so. Yeah. <sighs> so I don't know the bat's name, but I know that the bat is Draculaura's animal friend. And then there's some lips, probably with vampire teeth, I would assume. Yeah. Not only vampire teeth, then the little Monster High Skull Collector skull and a heart. And this coffin is so neat. It has different decals. It has a heart with bat wings. It has another skull collector with um, safety pins. Uh, it has a skull collector little signal with uh, bat ears, I guess, on the top. Wow. Um, boots. Boots. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna give you guys the first look. So. I just have to give you guys the first look. Oh my gosh. Okay, what does she look like? I hope she looks amazing. Okay, does she look good? I hope so. Oh, it's hard to tell with the glare. She looks good to me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, she's gorgeous. Oh. I mean, I hope she's gorgeous. From what I can tell on the screen, she looks gorgeous, so that's happy. Goodness gracious. <gasps> oh. Okay. She does have a little bit of marks on her face. Hopefully that can come off. She came the inside of the coffin lid. Has Draculaura and a little hmm, this diary belongs to Draculaura. It should totally be forbidden to read someone else's diary, even if it is lost. Oh, how fun. How fun. So it has actual written words. I mean, like writing in it. That's from Draculaura. Okay. That's my puppy wondering who I'm talking to, I bet. He actually doesn't like it when we talk to anyone but my husband and I and uh, him. It's very particular. And then this is, uh, I'm going to guess, the, authentic the, the, the Certificate of Authenticity. There we go. I can talk. This is the Certificate of Authenticity. And I'm going to take the glare off. Wow, she's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And let's quickly see if I can get the black speck off her. Oh, I can't. Thank goodness. Wow, she's so beautiful. I'm so glad I got her. Oh my gosh. She's, she's so much more gorgeous than I thought she would be. And this is the first Monster High doll that I've held in person and this is amazing. Oh, take her out and I'll be back. Wow, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I'm so happy. Yay. Here she is in all her glory. 
It took me 10 and a half minutes to open her and get all the little thingamajiggy, the plastic thingies out of her. That that took a lot longer. <laughs> it took me just four minutes to get her out of the box. Actually, under four minutes. And then a lot longer to actually take all the thingamajiggies out. Oh. So Jackie Laura has a felt beret that says the words vamp with a little bat icon. It is stuck with a plastic thingy in her beret. I'm going to keep it on for now. Um, just because I feel like if I take it out, the plastic beret might not stay in her hair. She has pink and black bangs that are very gelled. They are very gelled. Wow. Um, okay, so these bangs are not going anywhere because they are very gelled. Very gelled. That's amazing. Um, her hair, on the other hand, like the non-bang part, is very soft. It's black, wavy, with pink streaks in it, hot pink streaks. Um, her bangs also have hot pink in them. She has a hot pink safety pin earring with a little heart on the top as a stud. Oh, and then, of course, she does have the rooted eyelashes. She has, I think, dark brown eyebrows. She has purple eyes. She has a little heart beauty mark. It's not filled in. It is a pink heart outline beauty mark. She has dark red, reddish brown lips with two fangs. She has a plastic hot pink bat necklace. She has this gorgeous cape, which I'm so glad has little black hooks on it so that she can hold her hands up outstretched and the the cape looks kind of like, I don't know, bat wings in a way. Though it does have spider webs on it, but it looks so neat. She has a small hot pink plastic coffin shaped ring. There we go. She has a white blouse with short ruffle white sleeves and the blouse you might not be able to tell but it does have bat subtle subtle bat outlines see there's bat outlines in the blouse and then on the ruffle part of the sleeves they're short sleeves but it's a small black ribbon with pink dots he has looks like um, a pink bodice the black belt with a heart bat wings, little heart rings all across the belt, and I think these are all plastic. Oh, I guess I could take the plastic thingy off right here. She does have black lace sleeves, like lawn sleeves, so her white blouse has short sleeves, and she has black under that, black lace sleeves, with white ruffle detailing on the end of her sleeves. She has pale pink skin. She has an overskirt that is, I believe, tulle is the material. And it has black spiderweb detailing, is clear. And then underneath she has a hot pink skirt. It has lace. Uh, there we go. Lace detailing. Black lace detailing on the edge of the skirt. She has black lace leggings. They're not tights because they don't go all the way down. They do stop a little above where her boots start. And it has a black trim on the end of the leggings with pink dots. And then black lace detail. And I believe the black trim with the pink dots, yeah, that was at the end of her lace sleeve. So it's also here on her leggings. And then she has hot pink boots. Um, that are all hot pink, and they have a small black buckle that's in a heart decal. The black detailing on the back of her boots are so cool. Um, the heel part, they're like little bats that are like um, covered up like, like bats that are sleeping. Um, except they're not upside down because the head is up here and the body's down there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up very well, but it is really neat. Wow. Oh, let me show you her backpack. 
So it's a light pink backpack and not a hot pink backpack. Like most of her pink on her is hot pink, but this is light pink. It is coffin shaped with spider webs and a heart, black heart in the middle. There's a faux zipper, but this opens Velcro. So you don't open this backpack uh, by a zipper, but just by Velcro. You can see the Velcro on the top. And you just close it back up like that. I really like the faux zipper. And I like the fact that this is fabric, not plastic. And then she comes with this very cool Monster High metallic pink Skelector comb. I go with the little skull. Do you call this a Skelector? Again, I don't know Monster High. Is the skull on top of like this little skull icon? Is that a Skelector? It's really cool. It's the skull with the ribbon on it. And then her stand is so neat. It's also shiny metallic pink. And it says Monster High. It looks to me like it has spider webs on it. That's so cool. This is so neat. All right, I'm gonna take her cape off so you can see what she looks like without her cape. Of course, then if I take her cape off, I'll ruin the nice bow that's on there, but I do wanna see what she looks like without her cape, so. So there is a knot in her cape that is really, really tight. Like, I was able to get rid of, like, undo the bow, but the knot is very tight, so. I can't take her cape off right now, and I'm honestly not going to try. Um, but I did notice when I tried to take her cape off and failed that uh, her, well, I thought it was like her bodice is actually attached to her skirt. So her blouse is a separate piece, the white blouse, and then the hot pink bodice is attached to this skirt piece. So that's rather cool. Yes, I wish I could figure out how to take her cape off because again it's a very very tight knot I'd be very afraid that I would ruin it so I'm not going to do it for now so we'll just um you know she'll just not have her cape on I mean she will have her cape on she will not not have her cape on yeah I think now I might watch other people's reviews and see if they mention about the knot maybe they are planning to keep the cape on I mean as you can see now the bow isn't as pretty as it was before I took it off that's okay. I think perhaps if I get tweezers and like had a really strong light, I could figure out how to take off the knot in her cape without ruining it, hopefully, because that'd be very sad. She is gorgeous. I am so grateful I was able to get her. I'm grateful that um, I was able to get her before she sold out because she sold out really quickly. I'm really excited to see a reproduction Draculaura. Um, I had to order online. I'm excited to get her because I've never seen a reproduction or an original Draculaura in real life before, or any of the original Monster High dolls. I've seen pictures of them, and I thought they looked so cool. And for some reason, I thought they'll come back with them. Like this was years ago before the line ended. They didn't, but they're coming back now, and I'm so excited. Yeah, I really think she's the best out of the three um, Hunt Couture dolls so far, especially because she has so much detail, and she's. I just, I just love her so much. I just wish I could get the knot out. That's all I want. So I could take the cape off and see what she's like without the cape. But until then, she's just going to chill with her cape on. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe if you hadn't. Please like this video if you liked it. And please share with your friends um, if they're interested in Monster High. I do know that there's two more Monster High Haunt Couture dolls coming out. Laguna. Blue and Cleo Denial are the next two in the Monster High Haunt Couture. So, unfortunately, I don't know when they're coming out. I do wish that Mattel Creations would have given way more notice, especially with Frankie, because I, I really think it was within eight hours or something. Like, it, if I recall correctly, it seemed to me it was on, like, whenever it was, Thursday night, and then, like, saying, hey, she's going to be available tomorrow morning. So... I'm, again, just blown away by her detail. She's amazing in every way. I am so, so grateful I didn't get one with imperfections. Oh my goodness, thank goodness, because, you know, she was expensive, especially with shipping and tax, so, whew, she's beautiful. Um, yeah, thank you again for watching. Um, 
I don't know how Jackie Laura talks because I've never seen any of the cartoons, any of the shows. I don't know any of it. Um, so I'm excited for the one that's coming out because I have no context with it. So I'm not going to use Jackie Laura's voice because I know if I used what my opinion would be of what her voice would sound like, it'd be totally wrong. So I'm not going to. So instead, I'm just going to say, and she's going to say it with me silently, that it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay gun at heart. Bye! Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh.